hi lovelies welcome back to my channel today we'll be drafting a corset pattern i'm going to show you the easiest and most straightforward method to draft a three-part corset if you're new to my channel you're welcome please do well to subscribe so that you can join the fam to my returning subscribers you guys are simply the best thank you so much i'll always try to give you the best of my knowledge so if this video is what you're interested in make sure to watch to the end give this video a thumbs up turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i post the sewing tutorial for this pattern do well to subscribe and without wasting much time let's get straight into the drafting so guys first things first we're going to be drafting out a basic bodies and i'll be using this point here as my shoulder line while this side over here will be the fold of my basic bodies now from that shoulder point go ahead and mark out all your vertical measurements which is your shoulder to bust point on the bust and half length so for me i've done that i'll just go ahead and label down this is the bust point on the bust and this line right here is the half length next thing now coming over to this shoulder line i'll be creating a neckline this is not really necessary for this tutorial but i'm creating this neckline because i'm basically trying to draft a basic bodies here i'm just cross checking to be sure that i have a standard neck width of three inches so after i'm done creating my neckline i'll just go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement divided by two at this point and i'll make a mark and from that mark there i'll go down by one inch to create the shoulder slant then i'll draw a line from the end of my neckline to meet that point like this after doing that, I'll go ahead and mark down my chest line and to get that, you're going to divide your bust measurement by 6 and add 1.5 to that. Whatever you get, you're going to be marking down from where we have this slant right here and make a line across like so and this will become the chest line. Now to create the armhole, I'm just going to be transferring my shoulder measurement on this chest line here. And then I'm going to draw a straight line from the slant to meet that point. After that, I'm going to measure what I have from the slant down to the chest line. And here I have 8. I'm going to mark the middle of that here. And from that middle, I'll go in by half an inch. Then I'm going to draw a curve from the slant passing through that half inch. We went in all the way to the chest line like this. Next thing now, I'm going to be marking the bust band and to do that, I'm going to divide my nipple temple measurement by 2 and then I'm going to mark that on the half length, the under bust as well as the bust point. And then I'm going to draw a straight line connecting these three points together. Now from this bust point here, you're going to mark down 1 inch and then you're going to make a mark there. Now on this half length, I'll be marking half an inch on both sides. If you're on a bigger size, you can go ahead and mark quarter of an inch on both sides and that's fine so after marking that i'm just going to connect these two points we've just marked here upwards to meet that one inch we dropped from the bust point just watch the way i'm joining this okay so after joining this is what it looks like next thing now i'll go over to this shoulder point here and i'm going to find the middle or whatever i have from the end of the neckline down to the end of the shoulder so um after doing that i'm going to mark that here and then i'm going to draw a line from that point we just marked down to meet the both points just like this the next thing I'm going to do now is to impute my bust radius and to do that, you're going to measure what you have from this bust point down to the under bust. So for me, I have 3 inches. So it actually varies. It can be 3 inches, it can be 4 inches depending on how busty you are. So once you get that, once you measure from the bust point to the under bust, you go ahead and draw a circle that is a radius all around that point, making sure that the tip of your tape is at that bust point hope you understand so just watch carefully how i'm doing this and then you will understand better what i'm trying to do now that we have the bus radio sorted out from this under bus right here irrespective of the dart we have taken from this last line of the dart i'll be marking half inch on both sides like this and then from that half inch i'll connect down to meet the waistline just like you see me do here so if you notice i've changed the color of my marker to a black one that's because right now we are going to be drafting out the corset itself so after drawing out these lines i'll go ahead and curve this part here to meet up with the tip of our dart like this that's the point where we dropped from the boss points 
just like this. Coming over to the underboss line, I'm going to take the measurement I have in between these two points here. That is the dart. Here I have about one and a half inch. And then I'm going to be transferring it to this point here, making sure that I have half inch towards the middle of this uh, bodies and one inch towards the side. You can notice that I'm actually taking my measurement around that radius on the radius line okay so after doing that i'm going to be connecting these two points we have here to meet the boss point like this and then i'm going to extend this line so that these two points can meet moving forward we need to take the cleavage measurement and note that the cup but still is not something that covers you it's usually finer when it's lower so you can decide to maintain it at this chest point here if you don't want so much showing but for me i'll be coming down by half an inch so after coming down by half an inch i'm just going in again by half an inch and then i'll just connect this tiny point here like this and then coming over to this um point right here that is here i'm going to be marking out about quarter of an inch to half an inch that's it depends on how busty you are and what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to avoid gaping after i'm done sewing this corset for me i went out by quarter of an inch on both sides and then i'm going to blend it up to meet this point here like this okay so now this new point are the one we'll be making use of so i'm simply just getting rid of the old ones so after that i'm just simply going to create a curve from this cleavage point we have in the middle here up to meet the top of our cup using the radius as a guide okay so you can see the way i'm placing my curve rule like this just where that radius point is and i'm going to draw a curve to meet that middle point we had there okay next i also connect this middle point we have down to meet the under bust with a curve just following that radius as a guide okay just the way you see me do here you can see that one part of our cup is nicely formed now going over to this side here i'm going to take the measurement of what i have in between these two points and i'll make that mark down there and then i'll come down from that point we've made by half an inch then i'll draw a line outwards like this next thing now i'll be drawing a curve to meet that point we just dropped just like this and then i'll draw another curve down to meet the under bust following that radius as a guide as well now we have our curve completely formed you can see how beautiful this looks now the next thing now i'm going to insert my horizontal measurements and to do that on this chest line right here i'll be marking my bust measurement divided by four and then i'm going to take the measurements of what i have in between these dots and whatever you have you're going to be inserting it after the measurement you took earlier for me the measurement i have in between the dot here is two inches and that is what i'm taking down here and then i'm also going to add two inches for sewing allowance now i'm going over to the waistline here i'm going to insert my waist measurement divided by four and whatever i have i'll mark that there and also take this measurement i have in between the dart and i'll take that after the measurement i just took and then i'll add two inches for sewing allowance then i'll draw a straight line from this half inch we've dropped here you can see where i'm drawing from down to meet the waistline like this next thing i want to do now is to style the cup and before i do that i'll first of all cut through from the waist dart to the boss point so as to draft easily you can see the way that i'm cutting this and then i'm going to close up this dart at the top just aligning the sides of the darts together okay now you will see that the darts we had earlier looked perfect but as i've closed this dart here you will notice that the shape we have here has some shortening and that wouldn't work at all so that is why it is best to always close up your dart before shaping the upper part of the cup hope this is clear by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel by now please do so and don't forget to give this video a like okay now to reshape this part i like to use a pencil to first of all sketch and once i'm convenient with the shape i have i'll go ahead and smoothen it out with a marker pen you can see how perfect this looks if i open it up this is what it looks like and by the time i close it it still looks really nice you see now back to the cup styling you can decide to leave it too like this but since we are drafting a three pack corset what i'm going to do now is to come down from the cup here and i'm marking two inches downwards so there's actually no rule to this 
you can style it to whatever dimension or shape you feel like working with okay so at the middle point here i'm going to mark two and a half inches and then at the side i'll mark two inches as well and then i'll connect a line connecting these three points together like this so when you open this up you will notice that this part here extends more that is not a problem at all just go ahead and extend your lines to meet up that point like this you can see how perfect this looks now now go ahead and cut out this corset pattern following that black marker line okay just watch carefully how i'm cutting this and then you follow through So guys, these are all the different parts of my corset laid out. And now I'm going to be slashing through this part here so that we can have a three-part corset. And after slashing that, I'm going to be joining these two parts together to make it one. Just watch carefully how I'm attaching this. I'll get my cello tape and then I'm going to glue this part here together so that it can become one piece. So after doing that, this is what it looks like. You can see how beautifully drafted this looks, right? I'll also number this down so that I won't have all my pieces mixed up. So this will be my number one. This part here will be number two. And this is number three. And then I'm going to indicate the bust points because I'll be notching those points on my fabric before sewing together. So this is what it looks like. Now we'll go ahead and draft the back piece. To draft the back piece, I've gone ahead and I've drafted out a basic bodies and here I have my zipper allowance of 2 inches and then I went ahead to mark my chest line here and that down part right there is the waistline. Now for the dart, I went ahead and dropped that chest point by 1 inch and then I marked half inch on both sides and I created my dart. Going over to the side, um, on this chest point here, I'm going to mark my bust measurement divided by 4 and then I'll add 2 inch for sewing allowance. I'll basically do the same thing for the waistline. Divide my waist measurement by 4 and add 2 inches allowance. Then I'm going to connect those two points together like this. The next thing now is to determine how low you want the back to be. You can go in by 1.5 inch two inches depending on how deep you want it to be so from this chest line here for me i'm going to drop it by one and a half inch like this and then i'm going to draw a straight line to meet the side like this now remember that at the side of the front pattern we drop it by half inch along the armhole okay so you're basically going to do the same thing i'll just bring over the front piece and then i'm going to place it aligning the sides like this and i'm going to mark that half inch there and from that one and a half inch we've dropped to make the slant i'll just connect it straight to meet this new point like this so now we're going to get rid of this first line because we're not going to be using that anymore now if you intend to use a zipper on this pattern you can go ahead and leave that zipper allowance right there but for me i'm not going to add a zipper to this pattern i'm going to be using loops so i'm basically just going to cut out just like you see me do here so i'm still going to cut out from this pattern actually to, to create my loops but for now i'm going to leave it like this i'll do that while cutting on my fabric now to ensure that this part of the back here that is this upper part right here to ensure that it holds you nicely go out by half an inch on both sides of that dart and then draw a straight line to meet this that we already have down here next thing now i'm just going to cut through this dart so that i can have my back pattern in one piece so that by the time i'm cutting on my fabric i will not bother myself about making a dart so just cut out and after doing that you're going to solo tape this all around and you can see i have my back piece in one piece now i'll go ahead and indicate what each side mean here is my center back and this side right here is the side back and i also note that this is the back pattern now i'm bringing over all my patterns this is what i have so in the next class we'll cut this on fabric and sew it up and we're going to be adding half inch seam allowance all around this pattern if the tutorial has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So see you in my next video.